I've never seen anything like it. There they go. Two laps to go. There's time to catch him if he can do it. Nick Mears, his wife. The stopwatch. 0.63 seconds between well, them. I, I don't have to tell you what's going to happen if he catches him. It's going to be... I mean, this is extremely dangerous business right here. I, I don't think I've ever seen an open wheel car race with people this close at the finish. No, and really never close. and never so fast. I mean, these laps in the high 190. Look at this. Cena there. Incred All right. He He's, may do it. Yeah, he may. He's that close. Look at that shallow, shallow like, line. They're going to get the All right flag. Right. There'll be one left All to right. go. As he moves a little time for a good duck. Is he going to do it? The white flag out. This is the final lap. Going down into the first turn. What? Gordon held him off there, going into that first turn. Over the roar of the engines, you can hear the 400,000 people going course. All right, no one has ever seen this before in Indianapolis. This is the back straight, Jim. There's just two turns to go now. Mears, Mears behind, and he's again trying to slipstream it. John Cock did a good job of staying ahead of him in turn one when he made that move there. Good, that, that was brilliant. Enough. That was brilliant. Not quite over. John Cox still with the lead. Here it comes Head again. Up to the finish line. Here it He's comes still again. closing. That's his wife. It's too late now. You only got to pray. Look at that. There you see them. Mears. Can he make a move at the finish? He's making a move. No. 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 Not quite. Oh, no. John Cox has won the Indianapolis 500. He won it by less than a car length. The Indianapolis 500 is now the Indianapolis 5 between Kevin Cogan and Bobby Rahal and Rick Mead. Oh, and Kevin didn't get the start he might have hoped for. Ray and Ray Hall's going started. by him. Bobby Ray Hall in car number three has the lead once again. You look at Debbie. She knows what's happened. They come out of turn two. They're going down into turn two now. Down the back stretch. Ray Hall trying to stretch the lead over Kogan. Mears trying to get into it. I think it was a disadvantage for Kevin to be leading because it allowed Ray Hall to sit back just slightly and time the start. In fact, here comes Rick Mears. Can't get by him. They're in turn three. Now they're in turn four. And they'll come out of turn four and onto the front straight. There will be one lap to go now when Bobby Ray Hall comes by the start finish line. 33 year old Bobby Ray Hall of Dublin, Ohio, trying to beat 30 year old Kevin Cogan. And right now, Debbie Ray Hall believes it's about to happen. They're in the turn one. Looks good, the short it, shoot. Ray Hall. He's got it. He's got it if the car he holds up. He just ran a lap at 204 miles an hour, so he had something left, and he's showing it right now. And Rick Mears may be going to menace Kevin Cogan for a second as Ray Hall goes on to win. That's a possibility. The yellow flag, which appears to have won the race for Kevin Cogan instead created an opportunity for Bobby Ray Hall to win it. An opportunity that Ray Hall has taken advantage of. They are in front of him, on the right, now the left. Dwayne Sweeney holds a checkered flag for the 1986 Indianapolis 500 champion, Bobby Ray Hall.
front of him, Paul. This is what got him the last time. And Al Unser Jr. sees Dwayne Sweeney's white flag. Two and a half miles. One more lap to go. If Scott Goodyear has a chance, the time is now. Don't forget, 10 years ago, John Cox and Rick Mears raced on the last lap for the finish. John Cox won that one. That was experience over Rick Mears' relative inexperience. Will that happen again here today? They're on the back stretch. 223 miles an hour on the last lap. No traffic involved. They make the turn for home now. On the main stretch, Scott Goodyear closes in. He looks for a place to come by. Scott Goodyear tries it, but no. I believe that's the closest finish in Indy history. Closer than the race 10 years ago when Gordon Gott, John Cock beat Rick Mears. He is Canadian if he can win. Be the first Canadian to do so, but remember, Bill Noob is also Canadian. And Look Salazar the that hit a pole. He flew the base oh. car right off. No, that He's can't be right. Man. Can't do that. The base car was too slow, Paul. He needed to get a run. But that they gave him the green flag anyway. Dwayne Sweeney is waving the green flag. Oh, no. The officials are now reporting they're going to show the black flag to Scott Goodyear, the 24 car. You're on board with him now. They're gonna show the black flag to the leader of the race. Stop and go penalty because he passed the pace car before the green. No one has ever come from two laps down to win the Indy 500. The youngest winner thus far in the history of the race was Troy Rutman. Now, Jack Vilna will be looking at a white flag and one final lap, a final two and a half miles. An unbelievable run. The story will be told that Jack Vilna went two laps down on a penalty and fought his way back to the front of the field across the south chute for the final time in front of Bobby Unzer. Going by us and he's looking really good, Paul. No problems. Larry Leyendijk staying right there, wants to get in that winner's picture. Jack Vilna on the back stretch. The magnitude of his achievement. Listen to the roar of the crowd. Back from two laps down. Only his second year. One more turn. The first Canadian on his way to winning the Indianapolis 500. Jack Villeneuve on the home stretch. And the 79th Indy 500 has been won by Jack Villeneuve as Ari Leyendijk screams by on the outside. Lazier being careful comes back to the green flag. Green and white at the same time. One lap to go. Two and a half miles in the 80th running of the Indy 500. Buddy Lazare screams down toward turn one. Jones doesn't seem like he can make a move on him. On to the back stretch. Welcome to Jones coming still, out here. Jones still looking for a chance to move. He's trying to get around Jordan. He's around him now. In contact with the leader. The third turn, one to go in Indianapolis. Buddy Lazier taking a look at the fourth turn, comes off the fourth corner, and the checkered flag lies just ahead as Buddy Lazier takes the checkered flag and wins the Indianapolis 500. Firestone's first win since 1971, and, and a crash on the finish. Tom, everything looks all right? Well, everything looks fine there. I'm not sure what the yellow is for, though. I... The white flag is there, and they're going to go green for the final lap. Here we go. One more lap. Two and a half miles, and the Indy 500 will be decided. Get going, buddy. Get going.
He's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. Wow. Robbie Gordon is out of fuel as Kenny Brack comes down to take the white wow. flag. One more lap to go in the Indy 500. Incredible heartbreak for Robbie Gordon out of fuel. And now A.J. Foyt's pit. Bob, it's the biggest race in the world. You've got to go, you got to gamble. They did and they lost. wins the 1999 83rd running of the Indianapolis 500. Full rich is power. On to the front stretch in Indianapolis. Tracy. Point flag next time. In the Penske pit ball, they are sweating bullets, literally. They know the white flag's up next time die as Tracy stalks and closes. Tracy looks to the outside. Whoa, and a car and dribble right down against the wall. White flag, yellow flag are going to come out together. <laughs> Paul, that is the race right there. Yeah, baby. He ran yeah. just a spurt of fuel, and Paul Tracy's going to get the previous lap. Unbelievable, but... Yeah, baby, yeah! But he does have to finish. Good save, Paul, that's the, the whole key. Way. He's got to get around even under yellow, and there's still concern. Oh, agonizingly slow. And of course, Tracy looking for any, any opportunity, any falter at all. He doesn't know what it's like to lose. Two and a half miles to go for Jill DeFerrin. I guarantee you his heartbeat is going so hard right now that his chest is probably hurting. Remember last year he lost a tire after a pit stop? Looks like he had the opportunity to win that race. If Pastor Nevis is going to have a chance, it would be now. He tries to get a little clean air. Doesn't work for him. Through turn three. Pastor Nevis still trying to close. DeFerrin looks at the front stretch. He can see the checkered flag now. And Jill DeFerrin becomes the 62nd driver to win in the Now, I said it's going to be very, very close because all this power is burning up what little fuel they had left. Dan Weldon takes a look on the inside, decides not to go. There with eight laps to go. He tucks in behind Danica one more time as we ride on board the Ray Hall Letterman Argent Honda. It is Danica Patrick. If he goes by here, draft him. If he goes by, draft. To draft just to save inside, fuel, just inside, in case. Inside, inside, clear. And there he goes. And that fuel pressure comes from. Oh, there we go. Turn three, crash, turn three. Well, I think we might know the outcome of this one right now. There he goes, the white and the yellow at the same time. And Danny Wells. And I don't want to say who I picked there, Todd. I know. I got to give you credit. It's not a Gilles Deferrin. You didn't wait till the white flag to call it, but there's celebration right now in the Andretti Green Camp, Climb Tools and Jim Beam, the folks down there, 26, the number 26 has never 
won the Indianapolis 500 until this day in 2005. Uh, it's just incredible. It's uh, it's such a great feeling. It's it's right now it feels as good as I think if I, I would have won it myself. Let's go upstairs, Todd. Thank you, Vince. Congratulations, Michael. The checkered flag is out in Indianapolis, and the pubs are open in the UK. Dan Weldon has just won the Indianapolis 500. Not since Graham Hill in 1966 has an Englishman tasted the milk in victory lane at Indy. The look of Mario Andretti and the captain tells it all. Here comes Hornish. He's closing on Marco Andretti. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, Sam should have waited. He should have waited until the front stretch. It may cost him dearly because this time by, it will be one lap to go. Just listen to the crowd as they come down the front stretch. White flag. I believe Marco can do this. I really think he's got it. He's got to hold the line. Long lane, Marty Scott. This kid, I believe, is going to win this race. The most exciting Daytona 5. I'm sorry, the most exciting Indy 500 ever. Down the back stretch for the final time. His father has not won it in 15 tries. Through three. Hornish closing one more time. Coming out of four. Down the front stretch. It's a drag race. Marco Andretti. Hornish, who's going to win at the stripe? It's Hornish. Oh, Hornish wins. Hornish wins. By six one hundredths of a second, the closest finish, second closest in Indy history. Two point five miles. Come on, baby, bring it home. Keep going. The 23-year-old from Sausalito, California. Listen to the crowd cheer him on. And how fitting for the National Guard car to win if he can indeed do that. Has he got enough fuel to make it to the end? Half a lap. He's got half a lap to go, and he's the Indy 500 champion. Panther Racing, oh so good. They finished second here, twice here. They come again through the final two corners. J.R. Hildebrand. Careful the traffic. He's got to get around the lap. Traffic. What a years ago. Goodness. Weldon, after finishing second, the left. Now two. You heard the call. Here comes Dario. And oh, Sato may oh, try to come with him. Look out. This could get tricky. Oh, and he slides on by. Sato takes Take second. Four to Sato. And Kanan is going to make a run on him now. So Frank Keaty out in front, Takuma Sato in second, there's Dixon, and then Tony Kanaan. On board with Tony, if he wants a shot, he's got to get some help up front. He's too far back right now. Next time by, the white flag. I think Sato's in the capper position right. now. Time it right, you have to time it right. Everybody flag, stand flag, and flag, listen flag, to the crowd. White flag is out. Dario Franchitti takes the defensive line into one. Sato taking a peek. Inside, there inside, 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 inside. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, buddy. Yellow, yellow, yellow. The yellow is out. Should have waited until coming out of two. We talked about that. We talked about his patience. And for the third time in his career, Dario Franchitti is going to win the 500. And all three times, it's going to be under caution. As he is going to become a three-time winner at Indianapolis. What a race. What a race. You are the man. <laughs> awesome job, champ. Way to go. Why Congratulations, three times winner. We know she can count to three. She just proved it.
And look who's second. Munoz. Look who's first. Tony Kanaan. Contact yellow is out. And it is Dario yellow, Franchitti. Turn one. Yellow, turn one. And this yellow, one yellow, turn one. may yellow, not yellow, get yellow, cleaned yellow. up in time. <laughs> look at Lauren. She knows it. It may be over. Wife Lauren as he makes the turn out of turn four. After years of frustration, the satisfaction of knowing his name will go on the board Warner Trophy, the winner. They'll come to the white flag next time. Here comes Andretti. Here comes Hunter Ray. Hunter Ray got him into three the last time. Defensive line by Castro Evans. He's going to have to do it this time. Here they come to the white flag. We'll enter the final lap of the Indianapolis 500. Ryan hunter to the outside of Elio Castellanos for the race lead. That kind of drafting warm up the photo finish cameras. Half a lap to go. Ryan hunter Ray leads. Elio Castroneves is second. Can Castroneves close on him? He's a couple of car lengths back. One last corner to go. Checker flag is in the air. Here comes Castroneves. He won't get there. Florida's Ryan hunter Ray wins the Indianapolis 500. The white flag is waiting at the yard of Brinks. And we enter the final lap of the Indianapolis 500. Kimball has caught up to power. One lap to go. Who's going to win it? Power slipped in turn two. Justin Wilson just came off the pit lane. He and Munoz had to stop for fuel. Final two corners from Montoya. After the opening laps crash, here they come to the checkered flag, and the winner of the Indianapolis 500 is Juan Pablo Montoya. He's coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. Coast, half a lap lead, half a lap lead. Watch it coast. Save fuel. Watch your coast. Boy, I'm just thinking about Robbie Gordon running out of gas back in 1999. There's Munoz in the blue and black car. He and Newgarden are going to race for second at the moment unless Rossi runs out of fuel. He's off of turn two. He's half a lap to go. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Messages, you're now going too slow. Got this. Bring it home. He's out of two. Push, push. He's done it. Checkered flag is in the air. A first timer is going to win the 100th Indianapolis 500 mile race. California's Alexander Rossi to the checkered flag. And he's done it. Checkered flag. You just won the Indy 500, baby. Oh, my God. Oh 221.6 miles an hour last lap. Two He's to gonna... go. 
He's going to try the outside again. Nope. Can't get it done there because the wind does not work with you. It has to be down the other end. And Jones has closed the gap on Castro Neves. A lap and a half to go for Takuma Sato. He's won once in IndyCar Series competition. Former Formula One driver. Had one getaway a few years ago. Now he's going to see the white flag, and he's opened up a little bit of a gap on Castro Neves. One lap to go in the Indy 500. White flag, white flag. Castro Neves tries to close, Sato tries to defend. Two corners until the checkered flag. The one that got away comes back to him. Checkered flag is in the air, and the 101st Indianapolis 500 is won by Takuma Sato.